All right. Well, this looks pretty good. So, uh, pardon me, as I put on my controllers, you can see that my hands are in there. And I'm not actually... There we go. Hello. Okay. I'm going to adjust my HMD a little bit so I can get a clearer view. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Vern Joyce, and what we are looking at right now currently is my home, my Steam home, um, and in here, I'm in, in my HMD, my head-mounted display, or head-mounted device, depending on who you ask, and what we're going to play for our game, my game design journal, is I'm going to play a game I haven't played, but I've owned and I've talked about at some length with various people and I'm going to try to record this so I can post my recording at the same time and it's called wrench and you can see that I have quite a few games in here um, hopefully maybe I'll play some other ones later but we're gonna start with wrench today um, because in VR this I've watched a lot of videos about this game so it looks pretty amazing um, I don't know anything before we get going about engines that I haven't watched on YouTube or something like that. So I really don't know very much about cars. Okay, so it's a bright white. Oh, there's my hands. Okay, we're going to start a new game because, again, this is the first time I'm playing this. So, uh, again, I've seen some videos, but I don't necessarily no I think the game design god would have pretty funny missing bitches all right um so let's go and we're gonna start with a new career and again these are my hands um okay okay Okay, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was an early on uh, an early access. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, so here's your early access roadmap, and I can tell you that in VR reading chat and reading text can be difficult um, I'm gonna let this go here um, my hand can do it I, I have an HTC index or excuse me I have a valve index I have an HTC 5 2 which is why sometimes I get confused between the two but we're gonna ah I'm just trying to see what the locomotion looks like in here control barrel okay that doesn't work that's okay Oh, I can grab. Okay, that's how you grab stuff. All right. <laughs> All right, so we grab there. We can raise the car. Cool. So it's on some sort of lift, some sort of lift system. Um, get out of here. I'm sure I should be doing a tutorial, but this is, uh, oh, okay, that's low to locomotion, left hand stick. Oh, my goodness, you can look right up underneath the car. All right, uh, judging by the transmission, I wonder if this is a stick. Uh, it's a sports car, so it might be. And again, I'm just talking to myself here and keeping going, oil pan. Uh, the nut, yeah, we can take all that off. Again, I, I, I know basics. I can change my own oil. Uh, I've done spark plugs uh, way back in the day. Brakes, I don't trust myself because I'll wind up killing everybody in the car and myself. Um, 
I feel like we're missing a piece here, here. Like, real, real dry. Nothing between the engine and there. Oops, okay. So something's wrong there. Let's go this way. Let's grab this. Uh, this locomotion's a little disorienting. Um, I have good VR legs. I don't know if you can see my chaperone popping up. If you can see these, this wall right here, um, that's letting me know that there, I'm close to one of my boundaries in the room I, I have my VR. Okay, I'm going to bring this down. All the way down to the floor. Let it go. Stand back up. This is already in my way. Oh, so yeah, it's missing a stick. I wonder if we can pop the hood. Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's skip the tutorial. I'm going to regret that. Oh, there's my little. <laughs> wonder if there's a latch inside the car. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Well, I've taken the uh, steering wheel off. Um, we're going to put that there. We're going to take these off. Oh, you can see my... Hold on. This was foolish of me to go without the tutorial. Um, so where is it? Settings, tutorials, let's do that. Start. So we're literally going to build our own workbench. That's hysterical. Okay. Okay, so we're taking that off. <laughs> we have to build our own workbench. That's hysterical. What a great way to teach a user. And again, I'm just, I'm like literally trying to walk over to things and realizing and forgetting that there's physical walls in this room outside of VR. So the presence is very good. The immersion here is uh, pretty pretty impressive. Let's put that there. Let's, you, you notice how I'm not reading directions. This is one of my, oops, let's put that here. It's one of my wife's biggest complaints about me in real life is I never read directions when I do stuff. Um, I just kind of jump in. Um, I'm sure there are other people <sighs> that have similar spouses. All right. Well, again, the wall's here. So I'm trying to walk around in this space. Let me try and see if I can center my space a little better in here. No. All right, so you here. Let's go this way, go this way. All right, that's better. You come here. You go here. All right. So we have this. Oh, oh, come on. I bet you this goes in like so. Do do do. Do do do. Let's take the parts out. We'll get this box out of the way. 
I do like this anti-grav uh, deal. Giggle. That I, I don't necessarily have in real life, which would be very helpful. Okay, so what do we got to do? Let's take a look at the back of this. Okay, so this is the underside. And I'm guessing this goes up there like that. And I like how it guides me and says, yes, Joyce, you're not a complete tool. Okay, put that there. Oh, get out of here. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. Oh, let's move it a little bit this way. One here. Okay, how do I... Okay, I don't need that. What I need is Haha -ha! This oh. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. It needs a torque wrench, and it's torqued at 50, although I don't know if that's really what this needs to be torqued at, but it is where we're putting that on. All right, so we have two legs on. What well, we have... All right, we're going to walk over here and put these bolts in. I can only imagine how crazy this is going to feel trying to build an engine and again um, I don't have enough toys to show you what I'm actually doing in real life but what I'm telling you is I'm can you I do find it funny that it's telling me to do things that I've already well okay there's that Come on, snap to. Okay, so there's apparently a direction here for this. Yep, there we go. Like that. And now we need to get these legs. <laughs> Building this like this is so funny. Boop. Okay. We get this other leg. Put it on. Okay, and I guess we need to... So this goes, there's, there's slots, okay. Oop. Thanks. It's telling me there are slots here. Slide this into place, maybe on the other side. There we go. There we go. We built the table, ladies and gentlemen. It's floating in the air. I gotta get this ratchet out, oops. Ratchet is not so ratchet, and I've just been made a bunch of middle schoolers moan and groan for the poor dad joke. Okay, let's put this here, um, and there we go. We built a table in wrench. So, again, this is the beginning of something, um, a new tutorial. So it'll let you find the tools, build something. Um, for me, this is about...
chest high. I mean, I can't tell you. The immersion here is pretty good. Um, the the locomotion, uh, VR locomotion is, is a thing. Um, there's lots of different types of locomotion because we haven't figured out, and I say we by developers and people that are early adopters of VR, of how to move without inducing nausea in the vast, in, in not the fast populace, but in a lot of people. I have very good VR legs. I've been in VR for three years now, in immersive VR like this for three years now. Um, I was one of the first wave of people that had an HTC Vive and was up and running. So I have uh, a lot of experience here. And I've only gotten motion sick once. Um, and that is from, and I don't normally get motion sick. Um, it was from a virtual reality roller coaster ride that was, uh, let's put it this way. Um, if the physics were real, it would have killed me. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the suicide roller coaster. It was based on that. I did it. It made me sick. Um, that kind of a thing. Anyway, here we are. We have things here. That's some sort of... Oh, it's a helper bot. It looks like an ancient Mac with a big old disk drive. Okay. Um, I guess I should figure out what's the next step because, you know, we finished the first part of this tutorial and, like real life, I've just left stuff laying all over the place. Okay, let's complete this. Okay, so the car's there. I have it. The, the legs aren't blue anymore. Um, there's that. That's disposal. And, of course, the steering wheel's sitting there. What is this? I feel like... There's lots of red buttons. Okay, I don't know what that does, but, you know, it was a button in a thing, so I felt like we should do something with it. Um, okay, I have a ratchet. Let me grab this guy, and we're going to go over and pull that steering column out, I think. Again, locomotion here is I am using my thumb, which you can't see here because I don't think this game is set up for the Valve Index yet, um, which has finger control, but this is working on other... Okay. 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 No, I don't. Paint sprayer, flashlight, wrench, tablet. This is pretty cool. Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, oil pan, so when you inevitably, you know, decide to make a mess, there it is. Um, and again, this is one of, this This whole thing is supposed to be, um, I don't know what that is, um, supposed to help learn how to work on a car, um, and... I know very little, so it's it's kind of not a great idea for me to just jump in. Um, maybe I can pull a tire off here. And tool belt, where was that at? Cam gear, don't need that. Wrenches, let's see, what do we got here? Breaker bar. I feel like a breaker bar was what ooh, impact. Okay. We took one off. Oh, I'm breaking them. <laughs> okay. So you're supposed to take these. I I'm just taking them off. I'm breaking them, and apparently I have to go. get new one someplace else, but I'm going to take this tire off. We're just going to keep breaking these just so I can see if I can take the tire off. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Bloop. And it bounces. 
not quite as much play as a real tire, but there we go, nonetheless. Um, and again, you can see oh, this tablet interface is not the greatest. Yes, that's great. Stay here. Um, it's not integrated for the controllers I have yet, which is why it's causing some of these problems. And again, I don't really know much about cars, but... Okay. We can look in here. Springs. Uh, again, they're, they're disc brakes. I can tell you they're, they're, they're brake shoes and pads here, and they're disc brakes. I can tell you that. They're not drums, because I know what those look like from working with my dad way back in the bad old days. Um, but again, uh, it's it's about taking a car apart, um, <coughs> pardon me, and fixing things. And this is a great way for someone who has uh, more patience than me. Um, there's a status. Oh, this has got to go out of here. Hold on. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Um, well, that's really annoying. Okay, so again, this is early access. This is almost a beta, and so there's some definite problems here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the game per se. There's more wrong with me than the game. Um, that, that's an understatement. But what's going on here is my controllers are not configured for this game. And if I would have used my other ones, um, I think I'd be having an easier time using this. Um, there's a shop. Okay, so the idea is to rebuild this car, put parts on it, and turn it into a racing car. It, it, it's rather interesting that there's all these kinds of things in here and gives the ability for people to build cars. And again, this is it's open access or early access, which means this is not a complete game by any stretch. They're working on mechanics. Um, they're working on touches, and I hope they fix uh, or, or get us at least working for the index because having the dexterity of using all my fingers as opposed to simple button controls would be much cooler or a much more uh, technically interesting to fix or to learn from. And again, I <coughs> pardon me. Um, it would be much more interesting. You know what? Let's do something stupid. Because I know what's going to happen when I take that off. Let's grab this. Let's see how good this is. want to take I want to take the, the oil okay I didn't mean for that to happen we'll just throw that there I want to see if we're gonna get <laughs> ah again the, the grip the, the All this is is interesting because of the grips and the, the different controllers and how it's mapped poorly for these controllers. Anyway, so this is what Wrench looks like, and there are other videos out there with people that have much better dexterity and patience than I do and, and time, frankly, um, for all of this. And you can see what VR looks like from at least my perspective in this game, and, and hopefully I can find... Um, some other an other game or two that are a little more um, that I've played that'll be a little more instructive I've been looking forward to doing this and I saved this game I haven't played it again I haven't touched it until just now because I knew this course was coming and I knew this might be an assignment so here we are and I, I've mentioned this in a couple of discussions we've had um, in a couple other classes because it is so uh, it is really instructive about how to do things and again I'm I don't want to eh, put it back anyway so there we go I, I'm going to at this point slide back out and the mechanics 
I feel like that's like a, an ongoing dad joke since we're dealing with cars and stuff, um, are here. We're, we're, we're literally taking apart a car, fixing a car for competition. We built the bench. Um, there's carts over here to put parts on. And that's probably the trash can over there. I'm not sure where those boxes are over here. Yeah, we can move these tables around and use these to move parts and hold parts over there. Um, these are parts boxes. So I'm assuming inside these boxes, those <laughs> are the <laughs> are the, the lugs that I broke off the, the tire. There we go. Um, so that's a pretty funny mechanic. Um, but yeah, I, there isn't any competition going on here, although I do believe that the idea is to get this car ready for our race schedules, judging by this and the players race team I'm looking at. Um, there we go. I really wish I could figure out how to get rid of that rotating car. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I don't know what I'm dealing with. Um, so there's that con that level of competition. Um, the aesthetics here are, it's a, this is a pretty modern garage. I mean, not that I know what garages really look like in this day and age. However, um, it's not, you know, it's not dirty, dingy. Sure, there's a little bit of oil on the floor, but, you know, we are dealing with me and uh, my my amazing mechanic skills. And I'm going to go over here, speaking of oil, go look at this and see what's going on over here. So, I guess this is, uh, it's grease and brake fluid recovery? Okay. Okay, we can't open drawers, but we can t touch this. I don't. Okay, I don't know why we have emery boards here um but there we go so this is a, a a view of what vr is again i'm completely immersed i can't see my room other than when i go close to a wall i have my my wall chaperone turned on and again i'm not sure if you can see this but right here is is a wall and if i put my hand just a little bit beyond that i am touching my bookcase that's over here um and I really don't know where I'm in the room for the most part. I usually have uh, a pair of fans running in here, so I have some idea of where I am. But since this didn't look like a uh, gamer size or, or anything and I was going to be too active, I didn't have it on. And it's such a, it's such a nice day outside that I didn't want to turn on the AC or anything either. Um, plus, it makes a lot of noise and you wouldn't be able to hear my wonderful voice. Um, yeah, I can't really do much with all this stuff because again I'm not paying attention to the tutorial and all that stuff anyway I hope this gives you an idea of what this game will look like with someone a little bit more competent um I will probably wind up putting a lot more time into this once we're in break because this is pretty cool but it looks very time intensive hold on I know I'm watching a video. Okay, so I'm going to walk right into this, and that's... All right, I'm going to slide right into this because there's a, a, a physical wall there. But look at this. You can see... Hold on, let me bring this down a little bit. We're going to bring the car down to about there. And you can see me go right up to the engine here. And because we're in a virtual world... You can see what's going on. You should be able to do a cutaway thing here, but uh, because the controllers aren't mapped right, we're not going to be able to see that. But again, we're inside of a car hood, not inside, inside. So there's a totally different uh, view in here. Uh, I would assume that some people, this would probably make a little nauseous going in and out. Um, hold on, we can take the, the oil thing off. Look, there's the uh, oil filter. Um will probably make some people nauseous. Me, no, not so much. Um, really doesn't bother me. And, and again, I don't want to overstate the nauseous stuff. It really isn't that big of a deal. And there are ways to uh, acclimate yourself to working in VR. Um, and it's not hard to do. Um, wow, you can look at the springs and the pistons just going through here. That's pretty cool. I know you can punch out and, and have a cutaway view, but I can't make a, a fist without really causing other kinds of problems. Anyway, um, 
So yeah. Oh, and here's a random wrench. Huh. Brake fluid, I think. No, that's steering power steering fluid. Um, so yeah, you get an idea of what's going on here. And like I said, you can acclimate yourself to VR. Uh, you just do a little bit of the time. Uh, my mother is incredibly, gets incredibly motion sick. And within a month, she was doing all kinds of crazy things in VR without a problem. My daughter as well gets motion sick. Um, but she's also my daughter, so we've been involved in virtual worlds and all that stuff for a long time. So she hopped right in, and um, I thought she would have some problems with a few of the, the games that I thought would cause issues and for her, and has never had a problem. Um, but I won't let her do that roller coaster game, since, you know, that really involves some nausea. Um, but okay, I, I'm going to exit out my HMD. HMD is a head-mounted display, head-mounted device, and I'm going to uh, leave this space. And what I'm going to do is pull up a menu, and I'm going to exit the game. And this is going to take me, hopefully, I'm going to go home here. Um, which is my home space. Hold on, see it comes up. And this is like the, the load program. Um, if you're familiar with the Motri Matrix, this is like the cut screen in between when everything's loading. Um, and once I get to the home screen, I'm going to take off my HMD. Um, other things I want to suggest is as you take people in and out, you want to have them close their eyes um, because the transition with your eyes open can be a little disturbing or not disturbing, probably a bit, a bit much, but a little overwhelming. Um, I do it all the time, but I, it's just easier in a, in a demonstration situation where you just have someone close your eyes. Just best practices. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to leave, leave the HMD. Um, and then I'm going to stop this. Thanks for watching this, this very short video of Wrench. Um, again, I'm not the, uh, the, the world's best mechanic. Um, and also my patience for tutorials and that kind of stuff right now is short. So thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.